Greetings, science fiction and fantasy enthusiasts. You're listening to No Deodorant in Outer Space. Now, let's get started. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Ryan Sean O'Reilly with No Deodorant in Outer Space. Joining me is Richard Mell and David Wilkinson. This month, this is a preview episode for our podcast coming out later this month on The Golden Compass, which was a novel written by Philip Pullman that came out in 1995 and a film version that came out in 2007. So The Golden Compass is predicated on this alternate universe which contains a, uh, a theocracy, which is a religious society who runs everything. And they happen to be oppressive, but the people who are ruled by this, they have these weird souls that are outside of their bodies and they reside in other sentient beings, such as domestic pets and what are whatever else other kind of creatures out there. So, kind of interesting. Um, I guess it was a bit controversial with the Catholic Church and, you know, a bunch of Christians who want to argue and kind of like why well, I'm looking forward to it. Well, now I am too. Well, I didn't know that. That's yeah. cool. So, yeah, there was a lot of controversy behind this. <laughs> My big problem with this book was the title. Without any, I just thought Golden Compass it doesn't make any sense because at what point in life are you getting to impress somebody with your compass? Whenever you have your compass out, you're kind of making an ass out of yourself. It's like, I don't know know where I am. Where's North? Oh, look, I've got a golden compass. It's a luxury compass, but I'm lost. Yeah, the compasses are unattractive and they make you look stupid because the sun is always in the sky, at least for half the day. It's like, the (laughs) compass... So, who needs a a compass to show off their position in life? Like, I've got a gold compass, got some diamonds in there. I mean, a watch makes sense. As opposed to a silver compass. Well, I mean, as opposed to a basic functional compass. does, Does the gold add anything of value to the compass? I mean, I feel like the more metal in the compass, I don't know why I think I this, mean, this just kind of like ringing in my head, resonant with Narnia, you know, like in this whole thing. And Narnia was written by C.S. Lewis, who yeah. uh, was a, a big proponent of uh, Christianity. Right. But how do you feel about navigation? Because it really... I don't know where he came, where uh, uh, C.S. Lewis came down on navigation. He might have been pro-navigation. He might have been con-navigation. If I was a slave in the in the olden slave times in America and I was trying to flee to the north and the underground railroad and some guy comes to me and says I need you to sleep in my basement I'll keep you safe by the way north's that way and he shows me a golden compass I'd be like why did you spend all that money in a compass and I gotta sleep in a, in a shack in your basement you asshole I mean you're, you're really just you're, 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 it's like a humble brag the golden compass it's like I'm gonna help you slave go north here's my golden compass you know screw you get me a nice accommodation instead of the gold compass I don't know. I, I just there was a, if I ever saw something go compass, I did something they're a dickhead, and so I'm already kind of biased against this book from the get go. Oh, maybe oh. me too, actually. Yeah, but I want to read it. So. But you do want to read it. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I mean, I want to meet this golden compass douchebag. How do you feel about the concept of uh, having a spirit animal? What what, what, what what kind of spirit animal would you have? That's a good question. Probably uh, a duck. Oh, <laughs> and you Sounds have like a Gilbert Gottfried. Don't you have a? Don't you have a? Tattoo of a duck? I don't talk about my life on the oh, show. Oh, okay. Well, I do a lot. <laughs> and I do. Yes. I, 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 yeah, it's always, I talk about a duck. I, I, I definitely have a duck. And is there a reason why you uh, think your spirit animal is the duck? I just said duck because that's what I took to my head, you know? And it permanently affixed to your body. Huh? Yeah, well, yeah it's, it's a tattoo. Good. That's the tattoo is. What, what about you, Rick? Do you have a spirit um, animal? Probably like a python. So then I, I can kind of get into the ring and uh, wear it around my neck. And defeat like other the professional snake. wrestlers with it. <laughs> I, you know, I can I mean, control my that's, snake. That's honestly the best answer I've ever heard to a question. <laughs> so you can get in the ring, goes right to yeah. get, right, get in the ring. No, I, just, I just feel like him and his spirit animal. That's the, that's the best. Gonna, that's the best be answer I've ever heard to a question. Of the WTW. What's your, spirit, what's your spirit animal? A python that I wear on my neck that I use to fight my enemies with. Like, well, yeah. Well, I, I I stand corrected. That should be my spirit animal. That is, that is a better that is a better strategy in general. I, I, I'd go with a red tail hawk. Really, over Ooh. a snake that you can use to fight your enemies hey, with, hey. you wrap hey. around your neck. Hawks can eat snakes. Hawks, yeah, but it's still a bird. Snakes. No one likes birds. No one likes people with birds. I, I birds do. are irritating. I don't I don't think the python has uh, like a, an upper tier predator at all. I think it's top man. Python maybe, but I King know that, the jungle uh, hawks do eat snakes. Maybe yeah, I can python. see a lion eating a python. What about an alligator? Crocodile. Yeah, that too. All right. Well, tune in later this month until uh, to when we cover the Golden Compass. And until then, feel free to go on YouTube and watch various animal videos of uh, pythons eating different things and, and see who comes out in the victor. 
All right. C'est la vie. For more information on the topics discussed in this episode, or to read our show notes and find us on social media, visit nodeodorant.com. Thanks for listening to our show. And always, always remember, there is no deodorant in outer space.